Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, thank you very much, my dear students. I hope that you are online and you are listening uh, to what uh, you are listening to what I'm just going to talk about. Uh, unfortunately, I just gave you lecture of 25 minutes at my bedroom there at home. But when just I played it, I mean, uh, the online learning has got so many issues. Uh, so many, many issues online learning has got. So, the AC like this. So, when I just chugged it, so half of my uh, voice recording was mad, but half of the lecture was not actually recorded. So, I have to re record actually my lecture again here. Uh, if you remember, I, I gave you gentlemen. Um, uh, work homework and even I have sent you some assignments and I hope that you must be doing your assignments and when you complete your assignments you know you have to uh, give and send actually all the assignments to the class CR uh, Mr. Ijaz so that he can uh, send those me in a single uh, compressed file that I mean this uh, this actually requires us uh, some manageability so I mean if the assignments of the whole group are sent to me just in a single file so it would be quite easier for me just to mark okay uh, just coming to this uh, particular topic I mean the, the uh, you know the uh, actually the the, the, the the title of this topic states facing extreme risk from climate change uh, I hope that you must have gone through this uh, particular topic here. Uh, as you remember, in last lecture, I told you that uh, climate change is not only caused, uh, um, you know, worry in, in 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 Pakistan, but this is the uh, th this is a global issue now, because uh, many many countries of the world actually who are developed and who are developing and who are underdeveloped you see almost all are actually getting affected you see from the climate change climate change is such thing it is in a global issue and we 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 just uh, time and again come uh, across a term like um, we see uh, the, the term that we normally come across and that term we uh, the term we say and call it global warming well, uh, is the phenomenon of global warming is, is actually happening, you know, so obviously it has affecting, I mean, climate in almost all over the world. But this particular uh, uh, article which has been taken from Dawn newspaper from Pakistan, I mean, it touches only actually the countries which belong to South Asia. Like you see here, I mean, this Bangladesh, Bangladesh, uh, the paragraph one talks about the Bangladesh, you know, this is a country, a poor country, poor Islamic country, right, uh, which has, uh, uh, you know, which has been exposed to double threats, like uh, they have used the word here, double whammy. Double whammy means that actually a threat are any, uh, are two unpleasant things happening at the same time, that is double, double whammy. So here, uh, the global warming and particularly the climate changes, I mean, it, uh, Bangladesh is a vulnerable nation for that and actually it stands at a double whammy threat in hazards because you see here in Bangladesh I mean this climate change has caused actually a risk of drought uh, and the higher risk of flooding so I mean it's a double barrel danger over there like uh, this climate change you know it, it, it does actually create such things actually for poor countries um, and paragraph 3 you see there, I mean there have been actually concerns uh, expressed you see by the leaders of those particular countries there. Like this Prime Minister, I mean Sheikh Hasina Wajid expressed a fears of displacement of about 30 million people in her country uh, because of climate change effects. They could be moving north in a region with the highest density of population in the world, leading to the formidable, formidable social and even cross-border problems. According to her, but what is so surprising is the fact that despite the country's plethora of problem, its economy is forecast to grow 5.4% 5, 5, 5 in 2000 by the IMF. However, uh, we are going to talk about here the climate change. So uh, you see the the hazards of the global uh, 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 the climate changing. This is actually the map you can see here. Huh? So the map <coughs> you see, uh, and according to I mean the statistic Maplecroft actually which have uh, done the listing, you know, 
India I think uh, ranks first while uh, second and Bangladesh ranks first while Pakistan I mean ranks 16 there so we we uh, I mean whoever we are so we are actually getting affected actually from uh, from the global warming so I, I therefore uh, just uh, like uh, I mean if we do the, you know the first thing in order to combat actually the global warming is to you know just to create a kind of awareness among the people there like common people common masses you know we are like if we do not try to uh, take care of uh, ourselves you know nobody is going to take care of us so I mean the governments cannot alone fight I mean this uh, this menace which threat you know which who was in threatens I mean the whole world so but unfortunately the threatening effects actually of the climate change in the developing countries is a in comparison to the developing countries is less because they those people they keep on doing campaigns actually for this they are trying to make their masses aware of you see the, the hazards and the threats you see of the global warming but unfortunately here in Pakistan and particularly in our context you know we are not ready to accept anything uh, uh, we do not want to stand with the government shoulder to shoulder in order to curb I mean this uh, menace of global warming there so here you can find in fact you know that uh, many meetings and many workshops and many seminars and many symposia you know are held across the globe right uh, and uh, similarly uh, you see in paragraph 4 uh, while uh, Asia Society in September 25 in New York Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said that India and Pakistan were the most national partners on issues of climate change. We share water, he said. We share water, the Himalayan, the Himalay Himalayan glacier. If the India get affected, we both get affected, he added. He advocated the need for overcoming the trust deficit so that region could benefit from mutual cooperation in combating climate change, terrorism and, and poverty. You see there, um, I mean, uh, sometimes uh, these climates and these things, I mean, they do not have any borders. They affect everybody and anybody in the world. So we have to at least, I mean, like, yes, we do not have very, enjoy very good relationships with India. We have always had actually strained relations with India. But I think there are certain issues of commonality, commonality and humanities we have to at least be agreeing actually upon the solution of those issues. And one of them on the topmost uh, uh, list is actually this climate change. Because this climate change, we are both poor countries, developing countries. India has got uh, uh, 1 billion and 30 crores actually population. While Pakistan at the other hand is also a very populous country. So I mean if we do not agree on these issues of commonality, we will suffer a lot. So therefore, first we should agree, and that's what I mean. The statement of the Shah Mehmet Qureshi really affirms and confirms actually the statement that we need to cooperate in this sector. So uh, I, uh, you know, from t time, from time, again and again, there have been held, I mean, some symposia and some workshops actually. Uh, 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 upon actually uh, the issue of climate change and you see from different paragraph paragraph 5 and paragraph 6 you know they even actually talk about the different steps taken and the different uh, uh, stance taken actually during the reigns of different I mean leaders of Pakistani leaders Azardari and even the Prime Minister Gailani and they, they have also been having uh, uh, a say actually on the issue of their Prime Minister Gailani you know he said and finally, I mean, I have just highlighted actually uh, here uh, a sentence which says the massive dis devastation, devastation means destruction, caused by the recent floods reconfirms the country's extreme vulnerability to the adverse impact of the climate changes. So uh, what I mean and what actually this uh, article means to say is that climate change is a real threat to the weakest economies and to different countries of the world. So therefore we must try to take care actually of this thing. Uh, we, we, we must try to, to, you know, to work together, to cooperate together in order to combat actually this common issue actually of humanity. And how can we do this? For this, the first thing I think we should, we should try to create a kind of, uh, you know, um, 
a basket mass campaign in order uh, uh, to make our people think about it to so the importance of greenly a uh, green uh, lush uh, uh, greenery and you know uh, plantation and reforestation but here and even this is this is said actually that uh, uh, every developed country should have its 20 uh, 25 percent of its land area be covered actually with the forests and plantations but unfortunately Pakistan we had I mean a few uh, till uh, some years back we had only our area I mean uh, covered with uh, four point something uh, percent you know while I mean this this has still been decreased uh, due to some uh, timber mafia and you know to many other uh, unhealthy activities you see of the people so the de de deforestation has tremendously happened at a very rapid and fastest speed in fact you know here so I've been mean, uh, around about we have now uh, to, uh, between two to three percent I mean forest um, which are also actually in the northern areas so I mean we have to enable our people just to understand the importance actually of forest afforestation and if you do not try to you know to uh, uh, create a kind of awareness let's say let's start it actually from our this particular class we are almost uh, 47 students in this particular class I mean and you basically come from different background from different places you know I mean if every one of us takes this responsibility you know just to plant a sing a single tree at home and then to take care of that single tree believe me this will create a very positive impact you know but I think we should not leave everything to the government I mean to the governance we have to play our part only right I mean uh, and if uh, and then then let, let's say let's let's assume you know if Pakistan is around about 25 uh, crore I mean population let's say we should not be too much optimistic that everybody will uh, will plant a tree but at least if half or quarter of its populations you know decides to plant some tree you know so it would certainly create some impact and then we should also not be more optimistic because if all the trees are planted then we should not uh, then the trees the planted trees they are to be taken care of I mean they have to be watered they have to be proper uh, I mean uh, taken care of and then you will see that there would be a clay so I think even if I mean five percent of you know quarter or half populations you know I mean succeed in planting the tree so believe me I'm just uh, actually going to university uh, uh, for, for a meeting tomorrow there uh, but uh, I'm, I'm just near actually Bari Court in fact and there are I'm looking actually at the mountains there and the mountains you see uh, the mountains actually they seems to be very barren they do not have any trees they do not have any actually air uh, they do not have any greenery and they seems to be barren so I mean the, we are callous people enough you know I mean we are not doing anything actually to cover our I mean this what used to be called Udiyana and you know Swastu and it used to be called actually Udiyana and Swastu actually in, Sans in Sanskrit it means that the lane of lake forest the lane of you know green is the lane of you know uh, lushful uh, 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 forest and, and, and thing like this but unfortunately we are not taking care of such thing so uh, the first thing we must try to take uh, understand at least we have homes small homes you know but at least we have home we should try to create I mean small and small small orchards like uh, if suppose if I'm living in, a, uh, in an area where fruits bearing trees uh, can be successful right we should try to plant them I think and if you must try to look at your areas where you have to plan so this I mean if every unit actually of a society takes responsibility and then you will see a great change would be there so basically the article uh, uh, we have to come back to this article uh, in paragraph 10 you see Sir Nicholas Stern the eminent climatologist had advised South Asian countries in 2007 to brace for combating the effects of global warming even as they work to combat the human causes of climate change he had warned South Asians that they they would get torrents during the wet season and dry rivers and the dry season so that would get 
combination of flood and, and drought means that if you do not try to you know uh, to balance your climate you know so in summer you will suffer and by in, in shape of floodings and in shape of some other uh, I mean uh, severe torrents while in winter you will feel actually drought so therefore we need a balanced climate and for this we have to uh, I mean we have to uh, gird up our loins in order to do the best so uh, in paragraph 11 you see there uh, the parameter of Michael Croft's climate change vulnerability index is based on 20 uh, 44 42 social economic and environmental factors to assess a nation vulnerability across three core area three core areas and actually the you know the uh, barometer of Michael Croft's climate change vulnerability index is best actually on this factor so these are firstly number one number one that is exposure to climate related natural disaster and sea level rise I mean those countries who are exposed to climate related natural disaster and sea level rise and this is one factor it, uh, if this happens in countries so on the basis of it they have been measured number second human sensitivity in terms of population pattern development dependence on agriculture now we have to look at actually the full dependence you see uh, and of uh, of human populations uh, on actually agriculture and third you see there the future vulnerability of by considering the adaptive capacity of a country's government in infrastructure to combat I mean this climate change all right so then we have to move there uh, even this article also talks about the country which are at, uh, which are at, at extreme risk you know and where uh, you can find actually with five from South Asia and the six Sri Lanka and is rated high risk other uh, extreme include actually many other countries you see in the parag paragraphs there um, and so far actually uh, in Pakistan uh, I mean uh, we have to look at this especially because we are living in Pakistan we have to look at actually this you know uh, and, and you see in, in, in Pakistan I mean this is actually very much Im Im important and we have to look at like uh, in, in paragraph 14 you see the urgency the urgency of addressing Pakistan environmental problem has probably never been greater. Conservative estimates suggest the environmental degradation cost the country at least 6% of GDP, which is enough, which is still enough. I mean, like uh, we can say the 3.65 billion per year, which is still, I mean, a huge loss, in fact, you know. So the most significant causes identified in cost estimated in 2006 World Bank report and Pakistan are number one these are actually see I mean the uh, the cost estimated in World Bank report on Pakistan are illness and premature mort mortality caused by air pollution now see I mean this air pollution is directly proportional I mean to climate and if you have a good climate then you have a good quality of air if you do not take care of your climate you would have I mean a, 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 your hair will be polluted and that would create you some trouble and you see there almost 50% of the total damage cost diarrhea disease and typhoid due to inadequate water supply again uh, you, you 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 find here again that um, I mean if you do not have a good climate so it would affect your water supply as well and that would create diarrhea and some typhoid uh, I mean fever and uh, things like this due to inadequate water supply sanitation and hygiene about 30 percent 30 percent of sanitation and hygiene is actually there and uh, reduce agricultural productivity due to soil degradation and then you soil I mean the soil because because of the floodings because of the so many other things your soil the fertile alluvium the fertile humus you know I mean this will go to waste in fact and that would cause the degradation you see of your agricultural productivity and that would be uh, uh, that, that was uh, almost uh, about 20 percent so I mean keeping all these factors in view we have to look actually the hazards of climate change and the climate change I mean this is really 
really uh, hazardous for those countries who are not taking care of. And with the passage of time, due to the increase in industrialized world, the industrializations, and actually the Uber population, and the world population is uh, estimated 7.5 billion actually at the moment here. So therefore, I mean, if the population increases at such a, at, at enormous speed, you know, so obviously it would create troubles actually for the world. Until and unless if this world you if the nature and the world around you, you don't take care of so this would really play its negative or uh, one of our poets said that nature and uh, nature is uh, red in class red in class i mean the destructive disease dissolve the destructive and the dissolve uh, disastrous actually uh, aspect of the nature will be explored so the basic purpose of this particular lecture today is just to enable you just to make you think that we have to take care of ourselves i mean let's start let's start right from from ourselves you know i mean if we start from ourselves believe me the society will change i mean we have to talk about it you have to talk about it you have to talk about the importance of uh, forestations and i mean the uh, deforestation has recently taken place so in i mean uh, i i have been teaching in this chini girls university for the last 10 years but before 10 years after when when i when i when i look at that shingle when i joined actual university and when i look at it now there is a huge difference i mean the climate changes the climate changes and temperature has risen actually of shingle as well i mean the climate of the suburbians and surrounding areas of shingle i mean that is quite different from our climate from shingle because we do, we have uh, this university where you are reading in fact this used to be covered with trees in orchards and there used to be i mean superb actually climate we used to have but unfortunately they have all been mass ruthlessly cut down and even uh, we we i mean if you see there around actually the mountains which are visible actually from the campus you know they used to be covered with trees but unfortunately now you see them they all i mean uh, mostly the quercus quercus uh, we we term actually that quercus you know uh, quercus morkela or something like that a uh, quercus i think quercus that is actually uh, uh, we call that uh, uh, in english that is uh, i have forgotten the name uh, the name isn't coming to my mind at the moment uh, um uh, just straight straight zaha uh quercus and uh, um we we call it to i mean shabalut we call it you know shabalut anyhow uh the basic purpose of this article is 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 just to i mean uh, uh, the hazards which the climate change may might possibly uh cause so uh, please you just uh, give, give it a serious consideration and i hope that you will uh, do your best and uh, uh, i mean this is enough for today i hope that you uh, uh, take my words and you will become serious as well thank you very much